Quick disclaimer, today we're gonna to be talking about a product that has implications when it comes to your internet connection, your own personal privacy, uh, your security on the internet, and then there's even a crypto element to it as well. So if you're uncomfortable with any of those uh, concepts or topics, you can go ahead and take off. If you're curious about it, you can watch the video and then do some of your own research in order to be responsible. It's a different type of content for the channel. And the reason I was willing to do it is because the CMO of the company actually traveled here in order, in order to answer some of my questions in relationship to this product. It's an emerging space, so you should totally be skeptical. And I just wanted to make sure to put that warning at the front of this video so you uh, feel fairly warned. Consider yourself warned. So today we're talking about a product that is a little bit unusual for the channel. It's something I haven't seen before. It is a hardware VPN device capable of mining a little bit of crypto. Look, I got the pitch for this product and I decided that in order to get the whole story, I was gonna invite the CMO of the company to the studio in order to describe the variety of features in this device. This is an interesting product that you've brought here today. So the Pico itself is a hardware device that allows people to have cybersecurity. Um, it also has the DPN feature, the decentralized VPN. Okay. And it's a it's a peer-to-peer VPN, so no longer are we dealing with centralized VPNs. It's more secure, it's more private, and you're basically your own client and your own server. It's called the Deeper Connect Pico, and this is a tiny little hardware VPN. So you're probably familiar with VPNs. They call their hardware VPN a DPN because it's decentralized. There's a number of these devices and previous generation devices out there in the wild connected to networks across the globe. You can log in to some other connection in some other geography for the same reasons you would typically use a VPN but instead you're gonna do that in a decentralized fashion by connecting to another node, another piece of hardware. And you're gonna do it with this device here. Essentially what you're ending up with is a hardware-based VPN. Right now, as we're still growing, we have over 55,000 nodes around the world in over 150 countries. When you say nodes, does that mean these devices? That is one node in your hand. Cool. Yeah. When you are connected to a node and you find that, hey, maybe it's not as fast as you want, you can actually switch IPs or you can, there's different settings that you can adjust to and connect to faster nodes. Does this compare to like a typical VPN service or would it, would there be a performance hit? I would say it's, it's faster. Oh, really? Yeah. It's faster in the sense that um, traditional VPN has just like when we travel for work, they, um, they have high um, traffic periods when people are getting off work and they're at home and it gets really congested. But uh, through our network, because it is more peer-to-peer, -peer, um, that doesn't really happen as much because you're connecting to different nodes, not one centralized server. Mm. So as we continue to grow, it's gonna be better than centralized VPN. And on top of that, um, there is no subscription. So you buy the device, then you don't have to, there's no monthly subscription like you have with uh, centralized VPNs. So it's, you buy it and you can use it for life. I understand the benefit of connecting to some geography for the purpose of unlocking content that may be censored in a region that I'm in. But why would I keep this connected and allow somebody else to connect to me? And that's where the crazy crypto component comes in. If you share your connection, what you're essentially doing is using your bandwidth, supplying it to someone else, and then generating their very own token, which they're calling DPR. Individuals who have this hardware are essentially contributing their connection, yep. their bandwidth. And then the question is, well, what do they get for it? All right. And that's where this piece comes in. You're saying they're actually mining through allowing others to use their connection. That's right. It's an incentive to pe for people to share their, their bandwidth. Hmm. And as more and more people, we are projected, for instance, to hit 1 million nodes by the end of 2024. By that time, with so many nodes on the network, 
it's going to make it easier and easier for people to connect and to use and to share their bandwidth. And um, it will become a lot more useful, more robust, more secure. What do people do with this DPR that they get? Whatever you want, like cryptocurrency, you know, it's, it's basically another cryptocurrency, but this one has a real use case. Hmm. Yeah. I just um, I get curious <clears throat> about within that ecosystem, if there isn't a way to apply it back, what you've earned right. for some sort of advantage within the network. So in order to use the team, right now we're still growing, so we're not charging any subscription. Uh, there's re very little micropayments, which is the payments of DPR to use. But once we reach a certain amount of nodes, in order to use the DPN, you have to have small payments of DPR. So if, for instance, Lou, if I'm using your node and you're sharing your bandwidth, you have a great bandwidth, you set it at a price, that's one one hundredth of what VPNs cost. And I connect to it. I have to pay you some DPR, and because you're sharing it with me, you earn that DPR. Mm -hmm. That's the marketplace. Right. So there's some sustain, uh, sustainability there. Decentralized advertising, if I want to advertise on the network, instead of paying a third party like Google or YouTube or Facebook, I just basically, there's a platform that I'm able to upload my ads. And uh, from that, um, I have to pay a little bit of DPR. And that DPR goes to as a reward for the people who are viewing and interacting with gotcha. our ads. So that's a, another sharing economy that we're creating there. Mm -hmm. So you can use it to directly apply to the network. It's crazy. So every, everybody's essentially their own. Everyone becomes their own mini VPN, VPN company. That's right. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And that's what Web3 is about. You are owning your own service. Right. Yeah. Well, I, I, I have to go out of my way to do full disclosure here. I do not have any DPR myself. So this is not one of those situations where I'm trying to uh, just like get a boatload of people on board so that it personally benefits me. But like a lot of different crypto projects, there's all sorts of plans for how to create an ecosystem around this DPR, including ways in which you could unlock increased or improved bandwidth. There's an ad blocker built into this, a decentralized video platform. But you know how it gets into crypto space. It's very ambitious. It's going to be able to do this and then that. I prefer to talk about it in terms of what it can do right now. And what it can do right now is behave like a VPN in a hardware form without a subscription service. Buy it, connect it, use it, and you're not paying a monthly fee. Now this tiny guy is the littlest one that they've ever made. It has a number of connection points on it. So there's four total USB type C port. You can connect it directly to your device. You can connect it directly to your modem and have all of your connections travel through it. One of the ports is used for this here, which is a tiny little antenna. You can create your very own hotspot. So this thing kind of behaves like your router. And this is because there are security features in here. You may be on some sort of uh, public connection, like at a coffee shop. You can use this in order to utilize those security features and then share that newly secure connection with whichever devices are around you, uh, mobile device, laptop, friends connections, and things like this. Cybersecurity is huge. Having an enterprise level, enterprise class cybersecurity in your home network um, without having to pay thousands and thousands for it is a huge benefit. Because of the remote work situation now, more and more people are working from home and working on the road, having cybersecurity to protect the data that they have, whether it's their work data or their own personal data, is becoming more and more important for everyone. It has a seven layer firewall with deep packet inspection, which will further enhance and protect your IP compared mm. to just the regular um, VPN, which does not do that. In VPN, you can only have one tunnel at a time. Mm -hmm. So if you have a big family, and say you, Lou, want to watch something from, um, from I don't know, China for some reason, and one of your family members is trying to lock in to, to, you know, to Europe, uh, you're going to have to switch that VPN and, and break. You have to choose one. But our smart route allows for multiple tunnels to be connected at the same oh, time wow. so that you don't have to, yeah. And you can actually customize the VPN, the DPN, so that when you go to a particular domain, it will route to that country so that you don't ever have to deal with it. it. It just will know it. 
if you need even faster connectivity, you're probably gonna step up to this one. There's no adapter necessary on this unit. You're still gonna get power and an ethernet cable. The Pico is their fourth generation, so they've been launching products for a little while, and there are circumstances where you might find yourself in a particular region that's combating uh, playing cat and mouse with your uh, typical high profile premium VPN software. And uh, that was actually his origin story with the company, how he got involved. He was exposed to some of these hardware alternatives and was actually able to continue to use his applications in those places that were cracking down at the time on some of those premium VPN services. VPN is the first killer app that we have developed on the blockchain for this device. And the reason that DPN was first developed is because in order to build our Web3, we are a Web3 project, um, it's all dependent on the inability to be censored. So by having the DPN, that sets the, the framework for that. What do you mean by censored? Give me an example of censored. So for instance, you might live in a country that doesn't allow you to view certain um, websites, or you might live in a country where there's copyright censorship, where you know, you're trying to view a, an NBA program or something like that, and you can't because of the country you live in. Okay. And these are just some small ways that you're censored. Um, some some are a little bit more serious where you don't have access to anything. I mean, you can go to certain countries and you don't have access to Facebook, Google, and all those things. So um, by having the inability to be censored, now we are able to build our Web3 platform. And one of the first platforms we'll be launching this year is our decentralized advertising. And we have... As one of the features on the devices, you can block ads. And um, you can replace these pop-up ads, banner ads, even YouTube ads, with network ads. And these network ads can come from third party or it can come from users as well. And the reason it's decentralized is that uh, it's Web3 is because people now can be, um, they can earn by watching these ads. So Web3 is about ownership and your time for watching and your attention, you can be paid in crypto tokens for your time. So when you're interacting with an ad, you're earning DPR. This is a thing that you envision being around for a long time. Yes. This is, this is a thing that people don't have to be app apprehensive about. Absolutely. You know, I think we're coming from the traditional side of things with our CEO, Russell, he uh, was a head of research at some of the, the top cybersecurity companies in the world in Silicon Valley, um, Fortinet, Palo Alto Networks, to name a couple. Um, he created this device first as a consumer device that's cybersecurity uh, without blockchain at first. That, that was his first development. He wanted a working product with people actually using it. The blockchain came later as he learned more about it and it, he saw the power of um, combining blockchain, network security, and a sharing economy. And those three combined, it creates basically, you know, gunpowder for the internet. And it, it creates something magical, and that's uh, where we came from. Now, where we're going now is we have goals to be listed on NASDAQ in the long run. And, of course, this will take time, but we have our sights on that. So we're gonna be around for a long time. We want every household to have this device so that they can access Web3 and open up the world of the internet and have ownership of all their data, all their time, all of their attention. And that's what Web3 is about. It's really about empowering the internet user. So that's where we're heading. So there you have it. It is a new company, an emerging company in a very exciting space. I think it's interesting for people that want to dabble a little bit, want to experiment a little bit and don't mind kind of being on that fringe and playing with some new hardware. It is cool to see hardware products emerge in this space where a lot of projects don't even really get to that point. So I was happy to be able to invite the CMO of the company over to hear his insight and have him sort of participate in the video. And I also know that he happens to be open just 
uh, to uh, dialogue with you guys directly if you have more questions. He's on Twitter if you want to contact and find out more about it. There's the early Pico. You can see um, down on the with the beer bottle, somebody actually made a, a can opener. Whoa. And they made that GIF and they sent it. So they're quite passionate. Okay. Yeah. I guess if people just want to follow the project as well, that you're a good person to follow. Yeah. You got all kinds or, of Follow me. Here. Follow our own Twitter, mm -hmm. which is uh, Deeper Network. Oh, look at that. This was a cool meme. DPR has Web3, has dual mining, has security, free DPN, moon. I don't know if you guys know what moon means. Thank you.